out. I'm trying to hold still, but the stinging and the shooting pain up my leg is making that difficult. How bad is it? I haven't even looked. I'm not so good with blood. So I'm not going to need stitches or anything. Will it get infected? Haha, <laughs> do not joke about amputation right now. I'm in a fragile state. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Uh, sustaining an injury an hour into a camping trip is embarrassing. And you trying to make me feel better by pretending it's not makes it all the more embarrassing. It's these stupid shoes. I knew they wouldn't be good for camping and hiking, but they're the best I have. This is my first time camping, if you couldn't tell. I'm guessing this isn't your first time. How'd you get so good at this, anyway? Well, yeah, the first aid stuff, but the camping stuff, too. It took you, like, ten seconds to set up Bryce's tent. I saw you. It was pretty impressive. Do what? Lift my leg, right? Sorry. Can I ask you something? What do you like about camping? I just can't understand it. I mean, I like the pine trees, and I like the s'mores, but the bugs and the cold and the bears. Are the bugs part of the fun? Because if not, then why not just sleep in a cozy log cabin with heating and running water? Okay, so it's a nature thing. You like the peacefulness of it? The peacefulness of what? Like disconnecting from the world? And connecting with nature, right? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Is that why you're sleeping in a hammock tonight instead of a tent like the rest of us? <laughs> See, I'm all for peacefulness, but... That's where we're different, I suppose. I find peace in the great indoors. I guess this isn't so bad, though. Ow, that stings. No, it's okay. Keep going. So, how long have you known Bryce? That's pretty cool, having a friend you've grown up with. I've only known Maddie for a few months. We were in the same yoga class, that's how we met. We hit it off pretty much instantly, though. And then she invited me on this camping trip with her and Bryce and Bryce's friend. And I thought, sure, why not? So, Maddie and Bryce, are we going to talk about it? I feel like it's the elephant in the room. They so like each other. Bryce goes into golden retriever mode every time he sees her, and Maddie blushes whenever he says her name. <laughs> They're so ad adorably shy about it, I just want to smash their faces together already. I'm convinced they only invited us because they want to go on a date, but without all the pressure. It's always easier when it's a group thing, you know? We're totally being used. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm sure you were also invited because of all your wilderness skills. You're the only one who knows how to put up a tent. And you're the only one who thought to bring a first aid kit. We'd all be lost without you. Are you done fixing me up? It looks good to me. 
<laughs> yeah, thanks. Finally, maybe I'll have one of those knee scars. You know, one of those knee scars that everyone seems to have. It's like a thing. People say that if you don't have a scar on your knee, then you never had a childhood. Or something like that. <laughs> Forget it, not important. Well, I think I'm okay enough to stand. I can find my way back to the campsite if you want to catch up to Bryce and Maddie. You sure? Well, I don't want you to feel like you have to stick with me. I feel kind of bad that while they're off on a hike to a waterfall, you're here playing doctor. Mm, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be very fun to play third wheel either. They're probably gazing into each other's eyes right now. Yeah, you lead the way. You probably have a better sense of direction anyway. So what are we doing for breakfast tomorrow? I think Maddie brought a pack of granola bars. I brought some canned stuff. I know, delicious. Or we could do the whole fishing thing. Really put our survival skills to the test. But I'm not gutting it and taking out its spine or whatever. If I see its insides, I'm not going to want to eat it. Oh wow, we're back at the campsite already. That was fast. I'm gonna sit down again, because honestly my leg is hurting a little. It's not too bad, don't worry. It's just bad enough that I want to rest it on something. This log will do nicely. Nice setup we have here. Relaxing. I'm starting to get the appeal of camping, I think. <laughs> Do you want some water? Sure, here you go. It's getting dark out. They should be back any time now, huh? Should we start a fire? It might be nice to have a fire going when they get back. Okay, um, I will gather sticks. Oh, that reminds me. I did come here semi-prepared. Here. And this is lint stuffed in a paper towel tube. Apparently it's super flammable, so it's good for starting fires. Impressed? How do I know that? Uh, well, I'm an arsonist. See, I'm not completely useless. I'll be right back with some sticks. <sighs> okay. These should do the trick. I know, I grabbed a ton, but I figured it's better to have too many than too little. Oh, Maddie and Bryce are back, I see. How was their hike? Oh, I bet they look happy, don't they? Okay, so I'll drop these into the fire pit here. And then we'll place these smaller sticks into sort of a, like a TP structure, right? How's this? Thanks. I've been to a few beach bonfire parties before, so I've seen people do it. And then the bigger pieces of wood we can kind of stack around it, like this. Oh, do you have a lighter? 
Perfect. That's probably essential. Wait, you want me to do the honors? You sure you trust me with fire? Okay. <laughs> yes, you can trust me. I won't let you down. Promise. Okay, uh, like this. It's catching fire. Wow, that lint really is flammable. <laughs> Good work. High five. You know what we're missing, though? Marshmallows. No camping trip is complete without marshmallows. Of course, I've never been on a camping trip, but I think anyone with camping experience would back me up on that. <laughs> Good, you agree? Alright, otherwise, I don't know if we could be friends. Hey, you just ate a marshmallow straight from the bag. You're supposed to roast it first. Come on, haven't you learned anything from going camping so much? Shame on you. Hey, <laughs> no, you can't have another one. Not until you roast it. Those are the rules. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I did just swat your hand away, yeah. No, I'm revoking your marshmallow privileges. There's not that many and you're wasting them by eating them directly from the bag. Stop it. <laughs> no, I'm taking these away from you now. No, stop trying to steal them. <laughs> hey, no, no, stay away. Uh, give it back. Give me the marshmallows, or else, you're evil, give them, oh, come here, Zach, you've got some dirt on your forehead, oh, I'm sorry, it's just the sign of the devil, my mistake, I'm never going camping with you again, give me the marshmallows, thank you, now watch while I roast them the way that you're supposed to. <laughs> Bryce and Maddie aren't going to join us, I take it. They seem a little preoccupied. They're in me and Maddie's tent now, aren't they? Do you think they went in there to kiss? More marshmallows for us. Okay, see? Roasted to perfection. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Amazing. Crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside. Chef's guess. Hey, it's getting cold. Are you gonna be okay tonight, sleeping out here? You shouldn't sleep in your hammock. You should share a tent with Bryce. You might not even have to share it with him if he never leaves me and Maddie's tent. Okay, I just don't want you to freeze to death. If you freeze to death, who's gonna patch me up when I scrape my knee again? The sky sure looks pretty right now. Do you know anything about constellations? I know a little, um, like, that's, here, look up, that's the Big Dipper, which you maybe already know, um, it's probably the most identifiable pattern of stars in the sky. It's technically not a constellation, but it's part of Ursa Major, which is, do you see how it kind of looks like a bear? I know, I've always thought that too. It doesn't look much like a bear to me either. That there is called the handle, and um, it's interpreted to be the tail of the bear. But 
like a wet bear has a tail that long. I don't understand. <laughs> I think I read about some Greek myth once that sort of offers an explanation. In the myth, Zeus fell in love with Callisto. And I think Hera got jealous and turned Callisto into a bear. And then Callisto's son ran into her in the forest, but he didn't know she was his mom, so he tried to kill her. And then to save her, Zeus turned the son into a smaller bear, grabbed them both by their tails, and flung them into the sky, which stretched their tails. It sounds logical, right? I think I just felt a raindrop. Yeah, I'm serious. Unless you spit while you talk. <laughs> you don't spit while you talk. Oh, yeah, I just felt one again. And again. You feel it too. That's not good. It wasn't supposed to rain this weekend, was it? Maybe it won't last very long. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> this is bad. Um, uh, we should find shelter. I said we should find shelter. Um, uh, let's take Bryce's tent. Come on. Wait, bring the marshmallows. <laughs> Cold, cold, cold. I'm trying, I'm unzipping it. Okay, there we go. I'm drenched. We were in the rain for like 30 seconds and I look like I just jumped into a pool. It's freezing. Let's get under Bryce's blankets. I think he'd understand, considering the circumstances. <laughs> okay, much better. <laughs> that was unexpected. That's really pouring. This is kind of cool. The rain hitting the tent. I can hear your teeth chattering. Are you good? Here, take more blanket. You're barely even under it. No, it's fine. Get warm. Come on. Ouch. <laughs> you bumped your knee into my knee. It's okay. It was just an accident. It stings. It stings. I'm just making sure the bandage didn't fall. Yep, okay, it's still intact. <sighs> oh, our campfire is gonna go out. All of our hard work gone to waste. <laughs> yeah, at least I got to roast a marshmallow. Speaking of... Here. Well, we can't roast them now, can we? Might as well eat them straight from the bag. Do you still have your mini flashlight you were using earlier? Thanks. Um, can you hold it real quick? I want to grab something from my backpack. Wait, no, never mind, your hands are all sticky. <laughs> never mind, I got it. I don't want you getting your marshmallow hands all over your flashlight, okay? Yeah, I know it's your flashlight, but still. I'm looking for something I brought. A lantern, I brought a lantern in my backpack. Yeah, it's a small lantern. It's battery operated, but it looks all medieval and cool. It'll give us more light. 
Here we go, I found it. So, I'll just set this on the ground next to us. And now, we can see each other's faces better. Now you're more than just a shadow. <laughs> oh wow, you're drenched. <laughs> we both are. I didn't realize you got it that bad too. I wonder how long it's gonna rain. You probably shouldn't sleep in a hammock tonight. <laughs> here, duh. You should sleep here. Me, I'll sleep... I'll sleep, um... I don't know, I guess it depends on what Bryce and Maddie are doing right now. <laughs> I mean... You and I can just sleep here, right? Right, yeah, we'll figure it out later. I wouldn't have a problem with it, though. Even though you're a stranger? What? No. <laughs> you're not a stranger. No. I mean, not anymore. I was a little nervous for this camping trip because I thought maybe I wouldn't have anyone to talk to. Like if Maddie would be too busy hanging out with Bryce. And, well, I wasn't sure what you would be like. But, um, I am relieved, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. You know any good ghost stories? <laughs> oh, come on, this is the perfect setting for storytelling. We're in the dark, with a single source of light shining on our faces. And we're trapped in this tent for who knows how long. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I know a few um, ghost stories. Mm-hmm. Well, I could tell you, but I don't want to scare you. It might be too much for you. What if you can't sleep tonight? What if I'm going to need to hold your hand? Okay, but you asked for it. Um, um, once upon a time... Wait, no, let me start over. <laughs> it was a dark, stormy night. Two campers were cloaked in darkness. Nothing but a small lantern sitting to their left. It was just enough to light up their faces, but not much else. Rain hit the roof of the tent like a hundred horses stampeding. It was loud, but not loud enough to mask the sounds of a child's cries deep, deep in the woods. Am I scaring you yet? Okay, I was really hoping you would say yes because that's all I got. I know, I lied. I, I don't have any ghost stories. <laughs> wow, listen to that. <laughs> this is so cool. You know, I've decided I do like camping. Mm hmm. Way more than I would have thought. It surprised me. At first, it was a little daunting. But, now I realize I was worried about nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's fun and comfortable. And, I think I could get used to this. <laughs> what can I say? I just really, really, really like camping. Mm-hmm, camping. What else would I be talking about? I'll shut up now. <laughs> mm. 
One time, an owl flew into my dad's truck in the middle of the night because the truck window was rolled down and it threw up a mouse in the back seat. That's disgusting. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> anyway. Hey, wake up, wake up, it stopped raining. <laughs> that was the best night's sleep I've had in forever. I slept like a baby. Must have something to do with the fresh air. Or you. Very well, could have something to do with you. I wonder what time it is. I'm betting like seven. It feels like seven. Do you think Bryce and Maddie are still sleeping? If they ever even slept. Gross! <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> you know what would be amazing? If they actually woke up like two hours ago and have already made breakfast for all of us. So we step out of the tent and there's like an entire buffet of nuts and berries and fish and squirrel. <laughs> no, I don't think I'd ever eat a squirrel. No, not even if my life depended on it. I don't think I could do it. Especially not for breakfast. Gross. <laughs> okay, if you could eat anything right now, what would it be? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, you're right. That does sound good. I would eat that. I think if I could have anything, I'd go for a... A stack of pancakes with a side of waffles. <laughs> yeah. And, um, blueberry syrup. Do you think we could make blueberry syrup here? We find blueberries. We find tree sap. No, yeah, you're right. That's a little too advanced for my wilderness skills. We should go see if they're awake. And if they're not, we should surprise them with breakfast. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? I mean, this is technically their first date. So we should make it special for them, right? <laughs> okay, let's go scavenging. I really, 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 really like camping. 